Well, here it is. I believe this is the fifth island I've been on in Indonesia. Um, I've been to Bali one week, then I was in Gili Meno for five nights, and then uh, Gili Trabahan just for a bit. So that's three. And then I went to Lombok, that's four. Now I'm in Flores. This is the fifth island I've been to. And uh, this is a great hotel here. Uh, they're making another hotel there up in the hills soon, another resort. Uh, it's not too busy here at all. I almost have the whole place to myself. I don't know where everybody is. This is the start of the low season because they call it the wet season. Well, I haven't seen much rain. Um, they got solar panels on the top of those cabins. I said I want a balcony uh, higher up and they didn't understand at the front desk the English here is terrible but one guy he went he's going to school he said for three years to study English so he knew what I was talking about and uh, he said one of the best places to snorkel is just over there a nice little breeze here it seems to be a little cooler uh, Flores is a huge island it's uh, 350 kilometers long, east to west, 60 kilometers wide. I don't know how long I'm going to stay here exactly. Uh, you can't snorkel right now because of the wave action. It's too murky. Uh, the view from the other place, La Prima, was a little better, but that was a million one, which was about $95 a night Canadian. This... I got for 800000 and I think this room is even better than the other one. So I booked two nights here. I got five nights left, and I want to take that tour. There always seems to be high cloud here, so that's good, I guess, so you don't get so burnt, but I'm just waiting to see the stars one night with my binoculars. Uh, I haven't been able to do that. There's always this high cloud, it seems comes and it goes um, but originally yeah they didn't understand at the front desk I said I wanted a room with a balcony um, th I'm on the highest level here level three uh, what's my room number um, I got my breakfast coupons free breakfast for two nights and uh, the TV works a lot better here. Uh, they tried to check me into one of those cabin units and the TV wasn't working right and it was cracks and some of these rooms around here are pretty old but this one here has been fixed up. I'm in room 305. 305. Here's the room key. It says blank. <laughs> I'm going to ask if I can get a little table here for the balcony. I got my avocado wrap ripening there. It just seems to be taking a while to ripen, that avocado. I don't know what this is. What the hell? Oh well. Hmm. Yeah, I got clouds rolling in here again, but eh, it should be a nice sunset tonight here, I hope. And I haven't checked out the restaurant or the beach yet. I got here about 45 minutes ago and checked in, gave me my passport. And there seems to be a lot of availabilities, but those were old units down there have to be refurbished. But this was refurbished two years ago. I'm paying $63 a night here. And that's Padar. That's part of the tour. Padar Island, Taka Maskazar, Komodo Island, Pink Beach, Kanawa Island, Manta Point, and that costs 123 Canadian. So I'm going to plan on booking that. Uh, that's going to be cool. I guess when you go to Padar, it's mostly a hike. You go up the mountain and you get a view like this. Uh, well, my TV is working much better than that one down there. It was all 
he had to adjust the back. The coax cable or something was all messed up. And uh, got a coffee maker. I want to get a, a little table for out here if they have one. Um, safety security box and fridge are in the closet. Bathroom's okay. Even got a clothesline here. Hang my clothes. Two shower heads. But this place was totally um, revamped. It's nice, but you gotta watch out for these little steps here or you trip over them. They have these everywhere. And uh, so I got five more nights. Five more nights uh, here on Flores. Huge island, bigger than Bali and Lombok. 350 kilometers across and 60 kilometers wide. Um, and so I'm going to go check out the restaurant. It's down there somewhere. These are the cabins that are close to the beach and the pool down there. Lots of mango trees down there. Something's burning there. I don't know what. There's an island offshore here. It's shaped like a pyramid. It's pretty cool. That's an island right over there. And uh, with my Maui Gym sunglasses, they're pretty good. It just enhances the contrast of the ocean. Uh, Indonesian flags raised over there with the ships. Red means strength and power and peace. I can't remember what white meant. Um, lots of flowers around here. Maybe that's why they call it Flores. That's how the solar panels work, eh? All for self-generating electricity. Um, it's still hot here. Still pretty hot. I got my little thermometer here. I was going to check out the ocean temperature and um, pool temperature. In my room, it's 28 degrees. I got the air conditioner on, but I got the door open, so. But uh, for $63 a night, this is a great room. Oh, that feels good. And you can adjust, you can adjust the, the vents to go up and down based on direction. But that feels good. And uh, so, um, yeah, it doesn't take me long to unpack and get everything organized. It only took a half an hour. Going down to the lobby now and try and figure out that. And there's a little island just north of here called the Serea Resort Komodo or Sudamala Resort, Serea. And they have cabins on the beach. But it, it's a four-star hotel. I don't know how to get there, so I have to ask him about that. I think it's going to be just slightly over $100 there. But I'm not going to stay here for the next five nights if I can go there for a couple nights. And then there's the tour, so i got to figure that out. Uh, so, yeah. God, I've been doing so much pantomiming and... I feel like I'm on stage, I have to act and all that. And I was asking the two guys that were helping me with my luggage up to my room. One guy didn't know much English. The women definitely didn't know much English at the front desk. I said, I want a room with a balcony. And then she puts me in this cabin. She doesn't understand what balcony means, I guess. But same price for here as the cabins, but this is much better. And, uh, uh, Yeah, I gotta go explore. I haven't even been down to the beach yet. Or um, sun's coming out again. Yeah, this is a much better room than that cabin. But this Serea Resort looks top notch. So if I have the chance to do that, I gotta find out how to get there in a boat. Taxi driver brought me here from La Prima Hotel. Uh, that was 95 a night. 
Um, for 15 minutes, it was about $15 to get here by taxi. He dropped me off at the store so I can buy some milk, put it in my fridge, and uh, yeah. So, <laughs> this is my fifth island. And then with this tour, and if I go to Soraya, that would be six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That would be ten islands in Indonesia I would have visited before I returned back. Uh, Pierre, not Pierre, Justin Trudeau is in Bali right now. Uh, he just got here from Cambodia. He's doing this Asian thing and Biden is there in Bali right now so they've shut down the airport the airport is closed in Bali and I talked to the taxi driver today and he says that it's gonna be shut down for about three days thank goodness it doesn't sound like it's gonna be closed when I have to return back to Bali to get my connection flight so I, I think everything should be fine um, They've closed it due to security reasons. You know, they're worried about bombs. The police are everywhere in Bali. And uh, this G20 summit. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. I'm learning lots of stuff here. And this island, this island is Catholic. Uh, Bali is Hindu and Buddhist and Lombok is Muslim. This is a Catholic island. Who knew? So, yeah, I gotta keep uploading videos to YouTube to free up my memory on my camera. But I do have a flash drive I found the other day and I'm gonna ask them that if they can transfer stuff to their computer and then I can uh, put it on my flash drive and then I'll have a lot more memory. So. You can't beat it for $63 a night. World weather. Ah, Jakarta, 32. Hmm. 16 hour time zone differences away. Even give you some little shoes here. Hotel Sylvia. So, I'm going to go down to the lobby, talk to the people. Hopefully, I don't have to do a lot of miming again. Uh, oh, yeah, the guy who helped me with my luggage up here, who knows a bit of English, he didn't even understand the word earthquake. But he's been studying English for three years, and he didn't understand earthquakes. So I had to mime what an earthquake was. I said, were you here when the earthquake hit, the big one, in 2018? He says, oh, yeah, I woke everybody up in the morning. And he was scared, too. And, uh, yeah, not here. It didn't hit here, but he was in Bali at the time going to school. And he said lots of glass was breaking everywhere around him. And that was four years ago. Uh, but they didn't get it here. It was just Bali, Lombok, and the, the Gili Islands. So this is on the edge of a plate plate tectonics something slid four years ago and uh, even the waterfall hike when I went to the waterfall hike they closed down the path they had to reconstruct the path there because so many rocks fell off the volcanoes so it's another part of the world it's called the rim of fire yep I kind of wanted to go see an active volcano uh, but I don't think there's any erupting right now. That's another question I should ask. <laughs>